My name is George Shaw. This is my exhibition at the box in Plymouth called The Local. They are mostly paintings of, a, of the place in which I was brought up in, in the West Midlands, in Coventry. So they are, uh, and I've been painting that since I was probably, well certainly for the last 25 years. There are some paintings on drawings of the house, our family home, which, which was returned, it was a council house. It was kind of returned to the council on the death of my mum for the house we had for nearly 50 years. Um, it's now no, no longer a home, so we kind of lost that centre a little bit. Um, and then it concludes with a series of paintings of the place which I now call home, which is not far from here, on the east side of Dartmoor. Well, I suppose I am called a contemporary artist. I think that just generally means I'm still alive. <laughs> so, um, but I think my work, if you kind of imagine what you might think as contemporary art, my work has a much more uh, friendly aspect to it, probably. It's not, you don't really need a, an art history degree to kind of come and look at my pictures. They're, they're of landscapes. Nothing too difficult about it, really. I think the, part of the things that I deal with in my paintings and in the work I make is being an, just an ordinary person trying to get through the world, really. And I think that's a um, fairly uh, universal theme. There's nothing difficult about it whatsoever. It's like a conversation, really. A conversation in a good pub. <laughs> I hope that <clears throat> a city, cities like Plymouth, they don't in their, in their wants to change and become progressive and move forward and, and do all that, which is, which is great that they don't lose something of the thing that they were, that then, the character of the place really. Um, I, there's nothing better when I come to Plymouth than going down on the front and, and having a drink in the Dolphin <laughs> and the rest of it. And I, and I think that's what makes, a, that seems to be a very, something that's grown here. And I think sometimes some of them all shall we say, cultural elements can sometimes be a bit um, imported in. So I think it's important that, as well as those bits being there, that it gives opportunities for the local things and the old-fashioned things to actually um, get stronger and to come to the fore as well.